Many button batteries or coin batteries like the ones you see here contain the metal lithium. I decided to see if I could extract the lithium from batteries and do some experiments with it. Before I show you my attempts at doing so, I thought it'd be a good idea to share with you some of the chemistry of lithium. Let's go ahead and take a metal rod of lithium out of this container and study some of its properties. Lithium metal is usually stored under oil in order to prevent it from reacting with oxygen in the air. Watch how easy it is to cut a piece of lithium metal. In fact, I can use this small utensil to shave some pieces of metal off of the rod. Now, lithium is a chemical element that's a member of the alkali metal family. The alkali metals are colored yellow in this picture of the periodic table of elements shown here. Here you can see me adding a few shavings of lithium metal to some water so you can see what I'm talking about. Now the alkali metals are so named because when they react with water they form a base or alkali. Let's show you how we can see this effect. Here I'm adding a little bit of a chemical that turns blue in the presence of a base. Alright, let's add our shavings of lithium metal and watch what happens. Well that didn't take very long. I already see the blue color which tells me a base is formed. Lithium's an alkali metal alright. Before we get to the experiments with the batteries, I want to share just one more property of lithium with you. And that's this. When you heat lithium compounds in a flame, they give off a beautiful scarlet red color like the one you see here. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to extract the lithium from a battery and generate this pink colored flame with some of the lithium that's contained in the battery. All right, so here's the type of lithium battery I'm gonna use. Let's go ahead and remove it from the package and get to work. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers to try to pry open the battery. Well, as you can see, it takes quite a bit of work. I have to do a lot of bending of the battery. But as you can see, with some patience, I get it open. Hey, take a look at this black powder. It looks a lot like manganese 4 oxide. If that's what this chemical is, the chemical reaction that powers this coin battery is something like the equation that you see on the screen. All right, it's time to test our battery. I'm going to place this piece of the battery in some water that has that special chemical in it, which turns blue in a base. Let's watch what happens. Hey, look at that. We've got bubbles and the water turns blue. A base is being formed. This is good evidence that the battery contains an alkali metal. And do you hear those tiny popping noises when I heat these bubbles with a flame? Those are tiny explosions. That means that the gas being produced is likely hydrogen. Hey, let's watch closely to see if these flames have a bit of a pink color in them. If so, that's a positive indication for the presence of lithium metal. You know, I think I may see a bit of a pink color, but, but I'm not really sure. Let's try these experiments in a darker room. Whoa, did you see that? If you blinked, you probably missed it. To finish up, I thought I'd show you a few more experiments I did trying to observe this pink flame. Let me know in the comments if you see it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my explorations that I did with lithium and lithium batteries. I also hope you saw that pink flame. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you did. Thanks a lot for watching.